Hey everyone, John at 8-Track Avenue here. I wanted to do a quick little video to show you why, in most cases, uh, with most types of cartridges, if you get one that's brand, that well, it's new old stock, still in the shrink wrap with the cardboard sleeve, uh, you need to open up the cartridge and do some maintenance items, or address, I should say, address some maintenance items before uh, either not replacing the pad and just popping it in the player or doing this motion push uh, and replacing the pad without opening the cartridge and placing it in the player. So I just opened this one up. This is a customer repair job. Never been played. And this is what it looks like inside. <laughs> and now for one thing, the, the pads are gooey. And you don't want to play your tapes with pads that are gooey like this because it's going to end up getting pad material all over the inside of the cartridge. It's going to get pressed into the tape itself and affect the tape quality, the sound quality. Um, you don't want to do that. But if, if somebody would have uh, gotten this and removed the pad without opening the cart and doing the smush and push method with a new putting a new pad in, and popping this into the player, it would have moved slightly, and then you would have ended up with capstan burn because it would have jammed up, and the capstan shaft of the player would be sitting here spinning on this, and the tape wouldn't be moving, so you'd get one of those nice black lines of burn here. And it would tighten things up where you would end up with creases and you know damage to the tape that's going to affect the sound quality. So... In this instance, because this is being opened up and given a full, uh, it'll be fully tuned up and repaired uh, before it's a it's been played or there's an attempt to play it. That will that will avoid damage to this new old stock tape that would have a, a definite effect on the sound quality. Uh, so, anytime you get a new old stock tape. I would say the only exception to this could be the RCA styles because of the way that the tape is uh, routed inside of those cartridges. They don't typically, they don't typically have the issues that some of these other ones do, like like this style. This is a TC8 two tab cart. Um, in 99.9% .9 of the cases, with the exception of possibly the RCA carts, in which case. Oftentimes the pads will fall off if they're the foam, foam felt style ones. So you gotta watch out for that. But in the rest of these, this is oftentimes what what is lurking inside a, a brand new, uh, or I should say, a new old stock, never played, uh, never opened up, sealed tape. And I have this job is a a bunch is is pretty much all sealed tapes. And I just opened up another one too. This one was sealed as well. And this is a TCA three tab style. And this one is also, this one is wet and caked. Um, it's not terrible, but it appears to be, it was stuck. And this is common. It was stuck on the sensing foil. And that happens a lot with these. Uh, this even happens with tapes that are, that have been unsealed and played and just stored, but it's not uncommon for tape that's resting on top of the sensing foil to end up getting glued to it just because of chemical changes in the foil because this is aluminum so again doing maintenance to this and these pads are these pads instead of being gooey i'm going to move this out of the way these pads are dried out <laughs> and well they're still a little gooey but this is the kind also where it is going to make a gigantic mess if you were to try, if you were to pop it in as is and try to play it. And because this was stuck, because this was stuck to the foil, if, if an attempt would have been made to play this, it would have, again, it would have jammed up and you'd end up, ended up with a huge spot here of capstan burn. And, you know, that's going to affect the fidelity when the tape, when the, when it, that part that's damaged goes over the head of the player. So, Again, with the majority of these tapes, 99.9% .9 of these tapes, it's you really need to uh, open them up. If they're sealed, if they're still sealed in the shrink wrap, they're going to need to be opened up uh, and serviced before attempting to play them. 
And that will make the difference between a new old stock tape that is damaged and is going to have uh, areas of bad sound quality uh, because of damage that could have been prevented, and it, or a tape that was new old stock that was properly serviced that is not going to suffer from uh, fidelity issues and areas that were damaged because of improper uh, improper handling or maintaining of it. So hope this helps someone and thanks for watching. Bye.